Hey everyone, my name is Robin Cavallaro. I am a licensed realtor here in the state of Florida. I do sell a lot of homes in the villages, but I am licensed anywhere in Florida. So if you're thinking about buying, selling, or renting your home here in Florida, here's my information. It's right up across the top. So today's episode, we are visiting three homes in the northwestern portion of Marion County in the villages, the northwestern portion of the villages in Marion County. The three homes are in and around the same price range with some, some of them just were reduced even from this morning when I printed this out. And I'd like to know what your thoughts is. I actually did this tour. I have clients that are out of state looking for a home in and around this price range. Uh, so I thought I would share it with you as well. well. Let's get to the tour. I'm already happy. The lock set is nice. All right, so we are, let's see if I can find, the, ha ha, I found some lights, look at that. Actually, I've already walked in and turned on whatever lights I could find. So we have just to the left, kitchen, breakfast nook, granite countertops, very nice kitchen. Now, if you watch my videos, we already can see the difference in a home that is listed for $459,000 as opposed to homes that are listed in the threes. Definitely better grade cabinet. You can see nice. I love the hardware on this. Let's take a little peek inside. Oh, yeah, you're going to like that. Man. Movable drawers inside of a kitchen are a beautiful thing. Let's see. Oh, they're not so. Granite is nice, backsplash, very nice. Um, definitely big, open floor plan. I couldn't find, I gotta look for that light. But, ha <laughs> ha. Now I can deal with this sink. So I know this is two and you know I have only like one big deep sink, but I can handle this because this is low. So I really like that. And I like undermount. Undermounts are so much nicer than the um, overmount. High ceilings. Let's see. Now, I know. Okay. Six one half dozen the other. I'm going to turn on these, but I guarantee I get. Ah! <laughs> I thought I was going to get the garbage disposal. <laughs> All right. So, this, um, these columns, some of. The models, or this model, I've seen where this, can't see my finger, this here is completely one piece. So it there's a definite break, but I like that this is open. Colors in here are, they're not, I don't know, they're a gray, I wanna say grayish beige, but it's very bright. Uh, I'm gonna take a look now. I can see that, all right, this is temperature controlled. The lanai, you can see that. Um, I think one of the only drawbacks to this house, this home would be that right out there. But since this is closed in, you know, if you're going to sit out here, it's not really going to matter. Um, this, when you step out, because it's not at the same level as the rest of the home, this lanai is not included in the square footage. There is a little bit of a, oh no, that's a lot of lanai. All right, it is two o'clock. And I don't remember which road this is. I have to look. But um, 
obviously this isn't heavily traveled or we would already see a bunch of cars going back and forth. So it might not be a drawback. You do have a nice yard and hey, you got some neighbors over there putting in a pretty swanky pool. Block and stucco construction. This one I has tile flooring too, which is nice. These, I love, these sliders will open all the way, so it's very dramatic. And from the bedroom, you also have access. All right, so just so you can kind of get an idea where we are, front door, kitchen. I'm standing in the dining room and I'm going off to the right. There I am. And we're gonna head into the master suite. Okay, well, they don't have any lights. Ah, what else is new? Okay, um, we have lights. Uh, I just opened the curtains. Um, the homes in the villages don't have overhead lighting in the bedroom, so you have to uplight, and there are no lamps in here, so of course it's dark. Master suite. And wow, this is huge. So we have hallway leading into the bathroom. Look at that walk-in closet. Very nicely done. Lots of storage, and then on the opposite side, Whoa, hey, hello lights. Another walk-in closet. Pocket doors on each. And we will, here is linen closet in the bathroom. They actually have a ceiling fan in here too, which is nice. The, uh, I love these cabinets, the countertops, the cabinets, and the sinks, nice fixtures. And then shower door will be replaced ASAP, okay? There we go. There is a step down. That's tile, and there's a bench seat in there. And I like the shower head. Nice, nice. Pocket door, there's some bars here, I guess. Oh, kind of like handicap, but not. Okay. Hmm. All righty. Wow, that's really cool how they built that up. The washer dryer. Um, they're my height, which is not necessarily human height, but if you're tall, they're at eye level. Nice utility sink. And they've done a nice little touches here that really make a difference. So the garage has a lot of things in it. It's a sweet looking HVAC. This has a screen remote outside. This is a two car garage. Um, obviously, no problem with two carts in a car. Two cars in a cart could be a little problematic. Oh, that's cool. So, the pull down, they put this vent because I'm sure it's, you know, very hot upstairs. Upstairs in the attic where the boxes live. The opposite side, so it's split bedroom. Masters on one side of the home. This is, well, all right, so now they're, this is another one of those that they're calling it a third bedroom, but it's an office, no closet. You can use it as an office, obviously, or put a Murphy bed in here or some kind of other cabinets. Spare guest, excuse me, guest bathroom. Has a solar tube. 
keeping it nice and bright. And there's a door here, but there is a pocket door, which is nice because again, we talk about this. When you have guests, you close that off and you have a private suite, or if you have your mother-in-law or father-in-law living with you, you could actually have a bedroom for them and a living room area and a bathroom so they have their own private little space. Another nice feature, the home is on a cul-de-sac, so it's very quiet. Large two-car garage. second home today and I can already tell just from the outside it's a very nice well-kept home but the first home just seemed to have a little bit more pizzazz I guess because this is vinyl siding and uh, that first home was block and stucco I apologize for the dark but I'll have to say the wow that you don't have from the outside is uh, not what you get on the inside. Let's see if we can just... Um, just came into the foyer. Uh, this little reception space, which they're using kind of as a living room as well, but let's just go right out here because this is going to be the money maker on this one. The view. This room is beautiful. And keep going. Hunter, right on the golf course. Mm. I don't think I see any dings in the window. So I don't think, well, there's a tee box. So I don't think you really have to worry about balls. Hit, well, I don't know, back there. Depends on who's teeing off. Right over there. Never know. Let's just take a pan around this enclosed. I'm on a, it's not even a closed lanai because it's, it's a beautiful entertainment viewing movie center. Gorgeous blinds, love the windows, built-in bookshelves, really nice. I mean, now again, I'm gonna say this, as I said this in the last video, if you watched some of my other videos, 200, under 250, you know, under 300, big difference in the home and the appearance, the appointments. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to unlock to get outside. Nice green in the line. Just enough space. So I'm going to, well, it's two o'clock. So this is, the home is on a Western exposure in the afternoon. Wow. Nice. This front door, living room. I'm in the enclosed outdoor area. We're gonna walk back in the home. The only thing I'm not a fan of is this kitchen is closed off, but it's, yeah, nice size. And there's gas. Oh, no, I can't have a cup of coffee. <laughs> and ta-da, let's check out the sink. Um, yeah, the sink's okay, not my favorite, but nice appliances. Yeah, it's, it's, um, the pink color, I would say, is not really gray. It's more of a light tan. Beautiful. Foot oh, Jesus. <laughs> He's open. Wow. <laughs> That's <scary. laughs> Okay. Uh, laundry room is in the garage here, obviously. Wow. That's some storage getup they have there. I'm not going home behind door number one or two or three to see what's in there. Um, oh wow, they have more over here. You want to talk to me? Hmm. 
Let's check out. Yeah. They don't, they're not auto closing. Let's see if they have some shelves in here. Yeah, they have movable shelves, nice. For Mica countertops. There's no bond on the home. It is three bedrooms, so let's go see if we can. What, what's behind the double doors here? What is this? Oh, this is, okay. So this would be, Let's see here, I don't see a light. Um, this is obviously their office. This is the third bedroom, it has a closet. Uh, the tile floor. Uh, you know, it looks really crowded here, but I think once you get rid of a lot of these things, this would be Grace craft room, but you'll definitely see a little bit more room. Oops. All right, let's see here, knock, knock. Who oh, afraid to open the door? <laughs> okay. What do we got here? And light issue. Okay, I'm having an issue with lights today. Let's open up the blinds. Why don't we do that? Okay, blinds are open. Spare bedroom number two. Normal size for a village home. And so we have Two bedrooms here and then guest bathroom. Stay open. And over to here. Linen closet. I have a bunch of those. My grandmother knit. I can't get rid of them because she made them or crocheted them, whatever she did with them. It's something I can't do with them. That's for certain. All right, lights off. And we're going back around the corner. Let's go find. I think this must be the door for the master bedroom. Okay, so yeah, all right. Now, front door is behind me. Lanai, we walked in. Kitchen. Florida room. I guess that's what you call it. I don't want to call it close and I. And now the master bedroom is here on the right. Oh Lord, yeah, light problem again. Um, nice high ceilings, nice fan. Hmm. Which door does Alice choose? I think this is going to be the. Oh, it's going to be the bathroom. Oh, it's the closet. Nice big walk-in closet. And then we have the restroom. Let's take a bench seat in there. Nice. Just a small step down, nothing I don't think to worry about. It's just an all-in-one room. Formica countertops again throughout. Okay. Okay, that concludes home number two. So let's see here, what do we have? That was 1,904 square feet. It was originally listed for $474,900. It was reduced, and I'm not really sure reading this when it was reduced, but I'll put that in the notes. Uh, currently listed for four sixty four nine. dollars Three bedroom, two bathroom on the golf course. Very pretty. Okay, we're now off to our third and final home in this area. And, uh, and we'll just do a little bit of a summary. It's probably 
my least favorite. Okay, so last but not least, well, here, I got to tell you, this, this just freaked me out. I jumped 100 miles in the air. Look at that little baby dinosaur going to scare the crap out of me. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the third and final home. We are still in that Marion County northwestern section of the villages. And breakfast nook. Now this model, they don't have the window here because they have an uh, extended garage. But this home is 1,915 square feet. Asking price, $465,000. Now I can tell you, this home has been on the market as of today, 91 days. Um, not as spectacular as the other two homes that we toured today. Uh, this one does have carpeting. The bond is paid. It has new HVAC, new microwave, 30-year-old, 30-year architectural shingles in great shape, but they are original at 2004. Your insurance company will determine how great a shape they are in. Let's take a little spin around here in the main living area. The view is nice. This is Nancy Lopez Country Club. Just take a little walk outside. And the little critters here, they're gonna jump out on poor old Robin. Nice view. You know me, I'm honest, for $465,000 is absolutely not my favorite. I would, and especially now that it's been on the market for so long, it's just overpriced. That's my opinion, but someone else may love it. I don't think it's been occupied for a while. Uh, you know what? My little friend's still sitting there. I don't know if he's alive or dead. Are you alive or dead? <sighs> oh, he's moving. <laughs> okay, um, we'll revisit the guest rooms. Let's go back this way. <laughs> I know I'm a chicken. Okay, we're gonna go back this way into the master suite. Now, if you watch my videos, we've seen this model. Um, they have access to the outdoor lanai. This one doesn't have a tray ceiling. It does have the vaulted ceiling, but they are popcorn. We are north of 466, where popcorn is king and it's not in the movie theater. Uh, house probably needs it. I won't say probably. It needs painting, big closets. Let's turn the lights on so we can see. All right. Yeah, this is just a basic, basic model. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, but not for this price. I think that um, you obviously are getting much more for your money in the same area. Again, these are all within a mile of one another, maybe mile and a half, all in the northwestern portion of the villages in Marion County, and we are very close to Nancy Lopez Golf Course. I'm gonna take a little look in here. Washer dryer, basic utility sink, two car garage. Now this one, yeah, okay, we're gonna with the lights. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, yeah, big garage, you see it has a cart in here, you could get, so just to get a visual. This to me is an extended garage, obviously because in this model, right there on that wall, you would have had a window for the breakfast nook, but they bumped it out. Um, you would definitely get two cars in here, if you pulled it up, you could get two cars and a cart.
my friend is gone. No, he's not. He's right there. Okay. I don't want to disturb him. Bedroom. Don't sneak around him. I'm such a chicken. <laughs> Although, that sink is nice. This is granite. They replaced that unit. Solar tube. This is another one of those den areas that doesn't have a closet, but they call it a bedroom. You think I could buy him? Go, 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 go. You listen better than my kids. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have good kids. <laughs> All right. The outside here on Lanai and summarize the three homes that we viewed today in the northwestern portion of the villages of Marion County. Our first stop, uh, we saw a home that was three bedroom, two bath, 2,174 square feet, listed originally for 465.9, now at 459.9. I think that was my favorite followed by the second home which was originally listed for 474.9 now 464.9 so that was a big drop and that one is 1904 square feet that was on the golf course they both had views i already can't even remember And now here, I have to say I'm sorry, my least favorite is bachelor number three. 20, <laughs> 90, I'm dating myself, I know. 1,915 square feet and listed at 465 and it's been on the market quite a while. Uh, I don't know, what do you think? Make some comments below and tell me what was your favorite. Number one? number two or number three until next time i'm robin cavallaro i'm a licensed realtor here in the state of florida i do sell a lot of homes in the villages because the villages is my home thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already there's another gecko on that screen thank god he's outside although i think there's another dead carcass over there that's one thing you got to get used to in Florida. And hey, I know I obsessed with my hair, people, but I put some stuff in it and it's monkey and it came out pretty good. So. All right, I'm out. See you later. Holy, look at all those handbags. Wow, I thought I had an issue. I would buy this home for that mirror. This is a woman's dream. Look at that.